Hey guys, Loot Wizard here with another video on Gems of War, and in this one I want to talk about a weapon that's out right now for this day, uh, which is called the Guardian Crown Weapon, and if you don't have this weapon and you have the 400 gems to spend on it, it's an absolutely great deal. It's an awesome weapon, one of the tankiest weapons in the game. Uh, and I'll be going over it here after I get done with this battle, but I just kind of wanted to uh, show you a little bit of the battle with this weapon and what it can do. So just bear with me here uh, with this battle. So basically this weapon is just a great tank. It does not have any damage that it does in itself. Uh, what it does is it cleanses itself, it gains, it starts with 55 life and armor, and then it moves itself to the front. I am using the Bard class that gains, uh, uh, yellow, it gives yellow allies one to all stats at the start of each turn, and since it uses yellow, it is boosting its own stats, including the magic. So, now every time that I cast it, it's going to add that life and armor to itself, and it will also... Uh, give itself four mana. Now it start. It has 14 mana, but every time I cast it, because I have it fully upgraded, it gives itself four mana, and therefore I only need 10 mana uh, to cast it once again. And since it's always every time you cast it, it's always going to move to the front. That's why it's such a great tank, is because uh, you can always get this. You can always get this uh, weapon here always at the front now you can I've done a I've done test battles before a weapon challenge is what I like to call them where I'll just do an, an entire PvP battle uh, with just the weapon and see if it can survive an entire battle and this is one of the weapons that does actually it takes a while the battle is a long battle because it doesn't have any damage that it does itself uh, so you have to wait for skulls to come down to match to do damage, but uh, uh, it it is definitely very tanky. It has the survivability that you're gonna want in some battles like high level delves. Um, it also has a silencing feature to it when you upgrade the weapon that allows it to silence the first enemy. So. Right here, when I cast this, it should silence the rabbit. And see there, it did. And silence is one of the most powerful effects in the game because it keeps it from casting. So this troop cannot cast its spell, and neither can it gain any mana. So it's pretty much stuck. And as you see at the end of the battle there, I had like 400 armor and 500 health. Uh, that's how powerful this thing is. It's very tanky. So, how can you get this weapon? Well, it is today only. It is a, every Tuesday there is a new faction that uh, is available to play through for various rewards. Uh, if you do your delve battles here, and then depending upon what stage you get to, you can get some uh, different rewards. But there is a shop that corresponds to this faction and if you look here, every faction has its unique weapon. And so this week, this uh, faction's weapon is the Guardian Crown. Now, it costs about 400 uh, gems in order to get it. So I don't recommend that if you don't have the gems and you have to pay many money to buy the gems to buy this weapon, I don't recommend doing that because the gems are pretty expensive uh, if you buy them with money. I would say if you need to uh, upgrade your kingdom so you can get those tributes and get more gems through that way. But if you already have the 400 gems and you don't have this weapon, definitely get it. It's very great. Very great tank. Um, so yeah, this weapon is only available today. Uh, for the next 13 hours from right now, uh, this weapon is available and you can see here uh, there's the timer here 13 hours and three minutes and this faction uh, event will end and so that's the amount of time you have left to get this weapon now uh, All of these factions here, and I don't remember the exact number that we have right now But there's let's see if we count them real quick. There's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so we currently have ten uh, factions out right now and 
So every Tuesday, there's another faction event. And when that a faction event comes around, that is when the weapon for that faction is available to purchase with those gems. So if you don't get this weapon today for this week, it might be another 10, 11 weeks before this faction comes around again. And so you'll, you won't have an opportunity, uh, let's say, for another two, two and a half months to get this weapon. So um, it's, it's, if you don't have this weapon, I can't stress it enough. If you don't have this weapon yet, you have the gems available to get it, definitely get it because uh, it is really great. Even for, like, Guild Wars, to survive with this weapon is just... It's amazing. So, uh, let's go in and look at, real quick, the upgrades for it. I don't think that I covered that yet. So, Guardian Crown, uh, the when you go in here to upgrade the weapon, it shows you what bonuses. Now, uh, it's pretty much the standard armor magic increase bonuses for the first ones, but the ones that you really want to look for here in upgrade is the last three. So, you have shielding, which is barrier itself, which you guys know how unpowerful barrier is. Uh, then it has powerful gain for mana, which is incredible because it only you're only going to need 10 mana after uh, every cast because it gives itself 4 mana. And then finally you have silence the first enemy uh, for a peaceful upgrade there. And each one of these three it just makes this weapon even more powerful. I mean, it would be really powerful even if it just had this. If you're just relying upon this base, cleanse itself, gain 55 life and armor, move it myself to the front. I mean, that alone makes it powerful. But then when you have these last three upgrades with barrier, uh, gaining mana, and then silencing the first enemy, it's just, it's a great, it's a really great weapon. So I highly recommend that. Uh, go ahead and get that, guys, if you have the gems. Um... And yeah, that's uh, the, the faction weapon for this week. It's a great one. And thanks for watching, guys, as always. And I will see you in the next one. Later.